All right. This is rare occasion where I'm too tall for the microphone. That never happens to me. Um, welcome, everybody. If everybody could come in to the forum, we're going to be getting going with our morning keynotes. And then from there, we'll be going into breakout sessions and then to lunch, back to keynotes, back to breakouts. And then we'll finish the day with some keynotes and a special presentation, uh, a cybersecurity mixology presentation which we've never done before. I don't know if anybody else has ever done before, but we're excited to do it this year. Um, thank you everybody who was successful at getting here and getting a name badge. Uh, um, I apologize for the line, but it's uh, good to see so many people here early. Um, this is the 19th annual State of the Net Conference. Um, so we've survived nine, well, 18 of these, and that we hope to survive this one and have a 20th next year. Um, the original conference was in 2004, you can imagine what the issues were back then. They weren't too dissimilar for what, what we talk about here today. It's always kind of the same thing, but just different flavors. This year is very exciting. We have a lot of Section 230 and content moderation issues in play. Um, we have a lot of excitement uh, and concern around artificial intelligence. And then we have um, the most important issue for me is um, telecommunications and making sure that everybody has um, easy and, and equitable access to the internet. So we have a lot of telecom on the, on the agenda as well. So um, look at the agenda, figure out what you want to go to. There's kombucha and cold brew all day. There's also a whole other section of kombucha and cold brew and food on the other side. So feel free to spread out. Um, if you got here early, please make sure you come and get your commemorative um, state of the net beer glasses. Um, here it is. I've been told that beer tastes better in this class, but you'll have to try it at home. But don't forget to get one on the way out because I don't want to take it, take any of them home with me. So I'd appreciate that. Um, with regard to State of the Net, it's a place where the internet policy community has been getting together since 2004. We, as an organization, are generally agnostic. We're enthusiastic and very excited about internet. Always have been since it was the organization was created in 1996 but we kind of don't take any positions or policy prescriptions. We're very, we're very agnostic. We think the internet's really important, but what our job is to curate debates about the policy issues. So that's our job. So if you see somebody up on a panel or a keynote and you like, I do not agree with that person, don't get mad. Don't get mad at me. That's our job to have different perspectives. State of the net is not a statement. It's a question. What is the state of the net? We're not telling you what it is but we're trying to get together really smart people with different perspectives to say what it is. Um, just really quickly, I need to thank our sponsors. We have TikTok and Comcast NBC on the board here. We also have Workday, Verizon, Netflix, Meta. We also have AT&T, Lumen, Twilio, Amazon. And this kind of shows you the breadth of like the internet policy community that gathers here at Stay the Net. We also have Act Defense, NCTA, Public Interest Registry, Okta, Encompass, Booking.com, Network On, and Monument Advocacy. I also need to give a shout out to the Internet Society, which is sponsoring with doing the live stream. So we'll have thousands of people watching from home, um, all three different breakout panels. And then we also were very fortunate that Glen Echo Group, headed by Mara Collins and Corbett, um, has pro bono offered their services to help us with the crushing amount of media and social media and things like that. So we're very grateful to 